How's it going ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new video guys. So today we've got a lot of news to go through. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe. Let's talk about it. So first things first, we have confirmation now. There's going to be a Nintendo Indie Direct, quote unquote, or showcase, whatever you want to call it, right? It's going to be actually held on the 17th of March. So that pretty much confirms the rumor from VentureBeat. If you guys don't remember that rumor, it specifically pointed out, like, to all of us that we're going to be getting some sort of um, Indie Direct, so to say, first, and then the week after that, which is next week, we would be getting a proper big Nintendo Direct. As for what's going to be in the Direct, there was no actual confirmation, but I would assume, considering we haven't had a Direct now for almost half a year, which, when you think about it, it's kind of crazy. It's been that long since the last Pokemon, or sorry, not Pokemon, but Nintendo Direct. It's been a while, right? It's been quite a while. So... What are we working with right now? Well, we know for a fact that this Indie Direct now is confirmed. That that's going to be happening on the 17th, which is tomorrow. And then next week, most likely, we'll get an announcement for a proper Direct. Now, is that 100% guaranteed? No, but it's most likely, considering the insider who gave us this information, was pretty much right about this. He did say the 18th, but ended up being the 17th. But keep in mind, these things do change. So that's one of the first things I wanted to point out. So yeah, next week, big Direct. Who knows what we're going to actually get in terms of information? Like, you know, maybe we'll get some Pokemon stuff. Maybe we won't. I don't really know. But we're we'll just going to have to wait and see how things turn out. So, that's the first thing. Now, what's next? What is the other stuff we're working with? Well, I've got a little bit of a rumor here that popped up last night on 4chan, which I thought we could cover. So, this rumor is trying to suggest that there will be a regional variant of certain Pokemon. So, this is saying that it's an expansion leak. And it's posted by Anonymous again on 4chan, including an image, though, from specifically DeviantArt. So, I don't know if we should trust the image that's being posted there, because it's from DeviantArt, so, you know. But either way, here's what he basically says, that there will be regional variants of Trubbish, Hoot Hoot, Drowsy, and Komala. So, first of all, those all sound pretty reasonable to get, like some sort of new forms for, except Komala. The reason for that one mainly is because it's such a new Pokemon, it doesn't really make any sense to already be making a new form for a Pokemon that just isn't that popular in general, and also just is very new. It's the last generation's, you know, Pokemon. It's like one of the Pokemon from the last generation, Gen 7. So it doesn't really make any sense to insert it. I mean, maybe unless they have like a different way of doing this, there really doesn't seem to be any genuine reason for it to be done as far as I can tell from this. Uh, and also when it comes to uh, Trubbish, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's a Pokemon I think deserves a little bit of love, so it makes sense for it to get some love. Uh, but then there's also Hoot Hoot. Now, Hoot Hoot's probably the most confusing one, and a lot of you guys will probably comment before you finish watching the video, uh, that Hoot Hoot's already in Sword and Shield. Uh, yes, that is true, but guess what? They can still do forms for these Pokemon, even if they are in, already in, you know, the game itself. They've done that for some other Pokemon. I think Mr. Mime is one of the examples, right? Like, just because there is a Galarian form of the Pokemon already, uh, sorry, like a normal form of the Pokemon in Galar already, like let's say Hoot, for example, it's already in Sword and Shield. That does not mean that they wouldn't likely still do a new form for it. That is still highly, and I really mean highly possible. It could still very much happen. Then we have Galarian Trubbish, and of course, it's Garbodor, our ground poison type, according to this guy. He says Galarian Trubbish and Garbodor are going to be ground poison type. Uh, Galarian Hoot Hoot and Noctowl are ice flying. So that ice flying typing makes like a little bit of sense but it also fits in with a fan art that, you know, I think actually uh, I kind of asked for a while back from a designer and it's actually like, um, what you might call it? It's a pretty common idea that it's going to be some sort of ice flying type or flying ice type. Like that's been actually suggested by a lot of different people and who knows if it's going to be true or not and if it's going to end up actually being the case. I really don't know, but that's basically all I have to say about that. So yeah. Next, we have, of course, Galarian Drowsy here, which uh, apparently is going to be a fairy, pure fairy type. Uh, and then Hypno, apparently, is going to be a fairy dark type, respectively, essentially. So that's going to be interesting, a fairy dark type. I wonder how that would turn out. I mean, I'm intrigued to see how that would actually look like, but hey, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Uh, then we got Komala, so the one that seems like the most unlikely to me. is Apparently, uh, Komala is grass and has a new evolution that is grass fighting, and seems to have a drunken kung fu theme to it. Now, I'm not sure what that that implies, but I guess it would make sense with the whole theme of the first, like, DLC, which is the Isle of Armor. That DLC's got a bit of a theme to it that makes sense and fits with what we're talking about here. Like, it actually fits well together. So, is it possible for this to be true? Honestly, yeah, highly likely it could be the case, and honestly, it wouldn't be surprising if it was. So, I'd love to know what you guys think about that. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions? Let me know in the comment section down below. And when it really comes down to it, I mean, it getting an evolution would be really cool. As for grass fighting, though, it seems to be a little bit of a, I don't know if I'd really suggest it to be a good typing for it. I mean, 
Honestly, I don't really know, but uh, it would again fit well with the first DLC, the Isle of Armor DLC. It really would fit well with that. So who knows? I mean, hey, if they go for it, that would be nice. But honestly, I don't really know. So what's next? Well, they say here that there's going to be Galarian Slowbro, which we already know of. And of course, Slowking are Psychic Fighting and Psychic Ghost, respectively. So Slowbro will be Psychic Fighting. Um, again, it would be really odd to see a fighting type Slowbro. It just doesn't really like register with me in a really like normal way. It just feels odd a little bit. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, it just, it just seems a little bit odd, right? But as for Sloking though, Psychic Ghost, that to me makes sense, right? Like we've already seen kind of how the design looks like a little bit from some of the images. And I would go to say like, it's, it really does look like, like it fits, you know what I mean? Like, you know, um, it does seem like it fits the typing. And we've already seen design somewhat and does fit the typing. So who knows? But they also point out here, uh, Galarian Slowpoke has a Kung Fu theme, while Slowking um, sees to be inspired, seems to be inspired by Phantom of the Opera. And has a, and it has a cape and a shoulder mask that covers half its face, which, hey, that actually sounds pretty cool to be honest. Like that, that in itself to me, sounds like a pretty cool concept. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And I don't really know, man, like, it really just doesn't seem to register with me a lot of these things. Like, a lot of these Pokemon are already in the game. Trubbish is in the game. Hootoot's in the game, right? They're already in Sword and Shield, but they can still do stuff like this for them. They've done that before because, like, it wouldn't be that out of the ordinary for Game Freak to do these sort of things. So it doesn't really surprise me if they do it, but that's basically it. So, what else are we talking about in this video? Well, I want to return back to the topic of the Nintendo Direct, and for that, I'm going to be talking to one of my buddies about it. Ladies and gentlemen, so uh, we're jumping over to something else, which is about a Nintendo Direct. Uh, as already pointed out, um, we're getting the indie uh, thingy bajingy, whatever you want to call it, the indie direct tomorrow, right? And as you already know, and as already mentioned, Venture Beats already essentially confirmed this to us like last week or the week before that. I can't really remember, but it was, it was like a week ago or something like that, where we actually got the information that, yeah, we're going to be getting an indie direct this week, and then next week there's going to be a proper big Nintendo Direct, which pretty much is now confirmed. Again, there is a slim chance that may still not happen. Keep that in mind there's still a slim chance that may not be the case and we may end up not actually getting anything next week but um, I'm going with the assumption that we are getting something, so let's just run with that. So, uh, I want to talk about that specifically here with Casper. Like, what can we expect in terms of Nintendo, right? What can we expect in terms of things to actually see? Will there be Pokemon? Will there be Breath of the Wild 2? Will there be a new Splatoon game? A new Mario Kart game? Like, what can we expect? Like, what do you think we can expect to see in terms of games? I think we can expect to see a lot of uh, news, especially because if they're using the Indie Direct, they usually have some kind of news-heavy uh, Direct after. Uh, and usually, like, I hope that we'll get more uh, more vision on maybe the new Breath of the Wild game. I don't think we haven't gotten really much since they released it. So uh, yeah, just since the trailer, the small, like, small, not even yeah, trailer, exactly. teaser, the teaser, since the like teaser. teaser. So probably more content from there. I also think that maybe... Uh, some of the mobile games are going to get a little more highlights because Nintendo has been making so much money off the mobile games. The Mario Kart game is just going crazy right now. Uh, hopefully, we'll also see something maybe about the, the new Mythic Monkey. Uh, but I don't really, I don't really see. Uh, maybe they'll do a little teaser for the new expansion. Maybe show some more footage if there is more footage to show. But I doubt we'll get any like heavy Pokemon direct this time around. I think it's, I think it's going to be more of, of the news of all the unreleased games, and then of course uh, maybe something Animal Crossing related since the release is four days away yeah i mean honestly for pokemon it's least likely we'll get content for all of you out there who were just expecting like nintendo direct let's go pokemon reveal no like pokemon's literally had a it had a, it had a pokemon direct in january right where the pokemon direct in fucking january right that, that that in itself is nuts you know we had pokemon day last month right that was like two two three weeks ago now right it's barely like been any time since then so we already had that we already had a bunch of other stuff like basically the likeliness, right, the likeliness of us getting any form of Pokemon news is minimalistic. I think maybe a small trailer, like a small, small trailer for the DLC, like showing us more stuff, like maybe revealing another, maybe like another new Pokemon and stuff, just to get people excited again, you know, um, and yeah. keep people's hype up, maybe that. But beyond that, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there's anything, like any sort of thing right now that's indicating to us that we're gonna get any sort of Pokemon stuff. But as for other stuff though, Breath of the Wild 2, definitely a possibility and i'm actually excited yeah. for that game okay i want to see that happen um you got that uh then of course there's also like w where's the next mario game right like there's never no news about that like you know it's been a while now like what is it almost like two three years now since yeah, odyssey, odyssey is, 
Odyssey is a while back. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. So, like, we need another announcement there. Are they going to, like, now that they did mobile Mario, Mario Kart, will they still do normal ones? Will there be a new Mario Kart? Like, where's that? Uh, where's Splatoon? What's happening with Splatoon? Like, the last DLC was the Octo expansion, I think. And that was it. Like, there's no more, they literally said no more DLC for this game, right? Which would imply that they're working on something else. And that game sold well, I'm pretty sure. Like, you know, it sold well enough that it deserves another game in, its, in the series, right? The, the initial game sold well. The, the follow-up sold well. So, it makes sense for them to yeet out another one, essentially. So, I don't need to see, like, what I wouldn't do that. But, like, beyond that, like, what else? Like, we don't really know about any more projects at Nintendo. We really don't know about anything else. Like, there's nothing. Like, this year, bro, is so far right now, it's empty. The only thing we know about is Animal Crossing, and that's dropping in four days. But that's it, right? Nothing else we know about. We know Breath of the Wild 2 is in the making. We know that Metroid is, like, in, is somewhere in, like, dying in a ditch, basically. Um, unfortunately, I mean, you know, like, that, that game is... is doomed to just be stuck in development hell but like yeah. we need like this this direct is needed by the way this is really needed because th this is also an opportunity for them to give their investors a little bit of an idea of what they're doing next because i even think that investors are probably confused like they haven't released a game in a while you know like a proper game and they haven't given any information to, to viewers because they you know they want to look at the pre-order numbers you know how many people pre-ordering if the numbers are good bad etc like that shit needs to get out there but there's none of it so yeah that's space in general just a bit anything you want to imply like add in like you know that 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 you think should be mentioned? Um, there is a small possibility for Smash also, uh, since at the, the DLC bundle was completed. Uh, it would look like a Sakurai thing to do to uh, to announce a new bundle coming out. But then again, highly unlikely because Smash usually gets its own direct. Uh, they usually like single. It yeah, but like, I feel like a hype thing, you know? Yeah, like a teaser like a hype is thing. probably possible, but but let's we will have to see in time. Yeah, but ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy it, drop a like down below, make sure to subscribe, and also check out uh, Casper's music on Spotify. It's going to be a link down below for that, so you guys can check it out. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.